In the last module, we looked at the university's academic misconduct policy and the university's rules around plagiarism. But you shouldn't only cite your sources to avoid getting caught plagiarizing. Citing your sources also makes your work better and more valuable. Here are some other reasons to cite. Trying to come up with really good ideas is hard. And while most people will have a few amazing thoughts from time to time, it's even more difficult when you're under pressure to complete an assignment by a deadline. Luckily, research isn't really like that. It doesn't rely on you working alone to find out the secrets of the universe. Doing research means finding good quality sources that will help guide your thinking and writing about a topic, and support any original ideas that you do have as you explore and learn. When you cite expert sources in a research paper, you get to borrow some of that expertise. So even if you're new to a topic, using good sources can make your work seem more advanced. Of course, you'll still need to work hard to make your writing clear and interesting, but by using the ideas of experts, you get to draw on the knowledge of some of the world's smartest people, which lends some of those qualities to you and your work. As I mentioned last time, research is a conversation. Not literally, of course, you don't get to actually sit down and chat with all these great thinkers. But by using and citing other sources in your paper, you get to see and participate in the back and forth conversation of different researchers as they try to understand the truth about these important topics. They may agree or disagree, you may agree or disagree, but no matter what, if you cite all of your sources, you trace the conversation that leads to this point, and you, as the writer, get to decide how to build off of those ideas. This is related to the last point. Researchers work really hard to learn and write about a topic, and it's a sign of respect to acknowledge when other people have good ideas. Just like in a conversation, when you repeat something interesting that someone has said or written, you'll want to honor the work that they put into it by citing them as the source. The person reading your work will be interested in where you got your ideas. They may also want to find and use those sources in their own work. By providing a citation and reference, you help guide your reader to the places where you found your information. They can then do their own assessment and interpretation of those sources. If you weren't already convinced that citing and referencing your sources was a good thing, hopefully now you recognize the benefits so that you will try to use other people's ideas in a way that's appropriate, honors the original source, and improves the quality of your own work.